Hi, I'm Kyle with Stern Pinball, and in this video, we're going to go over the different lamp tests you can go through in the diagnostics menu on your pinball game. To access the lamp test, we'll need to use our service switches. So we'll start by opening the coin door, and next, pull the interlock switch out to the service position to restore power to the playfield. Using the service switches, we'll enter the diagnostic menu. Selecting it with the black button, from here, we can scroll over to the lamp menu. We're presented with a few different lamp tests here. Single LED test, all LED test, GI or general illumination test, and flasher test. Let's start with the single LED test. Using the single LED test, we can have the pinball game light any addressable lamp on the playfield as well as individual RGB, red, green, or blue LEDs. To select which lamp we want to test, we can use the red buttons on the service switches to scroll through lamps shown on the LCD screen. In your manual, there is a chart of lamps. These are all of the addressable lamps that your pinball game controls. For example, lamp 228 is our mystery light on this billboard here. The rest of this information pertains to which node board drives it, which connector it comes from. Hitting the red button plus one time will switch to lamp 229, which will change to the screen lamp on the billboard here. The next lamp 230, 231, etc. The next test in the lamp test menu is the test all LED test. Selecting this test, will illuminate all controlled lamps on your pinball game. The next test is our GI test, or general illumination test. In a pinball game, you'll have two different kinds of lamps. The feature lamps, which are things under the playfield or are controlled to tell you where to shoot or telling you something is going on, and general illumination, which are the lights that light underneath plastics and are generally always on. In this test, the game will pulse each different general illumination circuit. Most general illumination circuits will have three or more bulbs attached to one circuit and they will flash in unison. On the screen, we'll get some information about which connector on the node board they are driven off of, uh, some wire colors, and their number, which will also correlate to the lamp chart in your manual. The final lamp test we have is the flasher test. The flasher LEDs are the ones that are bright and come in light shows to show you you've done something good. To select the flasher test, highlight it on the LCD and use the black button to enter the test. In this test, we can scroll through each lamp that is considered a flash lamp. As a note, flashers will not appear in the all lamp test. Uh, they are addressed separately, uh, and they must be called up in the flasher test. This was another video from Stern Tech School.